Folks, Dr. Haywood back after a very long hiatus. And look, there is the new PCW champion, Bad News Blakesley. And oh, he does not look happy going into his private dressing room. Folks, we've got action from PCW Blueprint coming up next. Mike Bell getting it 
Boyce LeGrand's face. Sit down, old man. Boyce will do you dirty. the bathrooms in the Orville Convention Center. Well, and here is a big star, the cheetah, Jason Xavier, caught off of his appearance in the American Ninja Warrior Finals. Folks, you can check it out here in our picture of picture. Jason Xavier went to the semi-final sick, could not finish, but you got to give him credit for making that effort. And he has got one hell of an effort here against the bad boy, Boyce LeGrand. Go get, go get his belt, kid. Cheetah playing some mind games with the bad boy, Boyce LeGrand. I said it at the last show, though, the American Ninja obstacles do not hit back, and Boyce LeGrand definitely does. Things are getting chippy here before the match even started. PCW Blueprint presented here on PCW Limelight. Catch us here on YouTube Rumble Saturdays at noon. Boyce LeGrand likes to take his time. Part of the mind games he plays with his opponent. Jason Xavier, he's got that national exposure, the movie star good looks, the chiseled frame. But Boyce LeGrand is a master of athleticism, a multi-time PCW champion, a veteran, as you said, 25 plus years. Two competitors feeling each other out. There's a lockup. Let's see if uh, we get a clean break here from, from Boyce LeGrand. Jason Xavier obviously had a scout and didn't trust that he would give him a clean break. Oh, uh, well, Boyce LeGrand, his career is on record. A long career indeed that you can catch on YouTube. Jason Xavier, he is going to have to be on his toes to deal with that experience. I mean, he's definitely got the athleticism and the agility. Yeah. 
most of the ground. Obviously, he knows all the wrestling holds. Quick headlock, headlock takeover. Jason Xavier's trying to uh, use his flexibility to get out of the head scissors. Well, I tell you what, I know all about flexibility. You can't get flexible without DDPY. Good luck getting me to submit in a hold. I do moves like that all the time every night. Big headlock here from Boyce Legrand. I gotta say, I've been impressed with Jason Xavier's technical prowess so far. But he's gonna give way to Boyce Legrand in the power game, it looks like. Boyce Legrand was caught off guard, quickly slipped out of the ring. This is probably just his experience showing right here. He's going to slow this match down, uh, get out of the ring. Probably some of those mind games you talked about before that he's playing with Jason Xavier. Well, that quicker pace definitely favors Jason Xavier. If he can get the American Ninja Warrior winded, that's going to definitely be in his favor. Take away that young man's cardio, wind him, ground him into the dirt. Jason Xavier's giving him a taste of his own medicine. Al quicked him, got the headlock, quick uh, headlock takeover. Now just grinding him into the mat. So the, how you were just saying that uh, the boys could wear out Jason Xavier, looks like uh, Jason Xavier is using that against the boys right here and just putting all of his body weight onto him on that uh, side of the headlock, trying to, trying to wear out boys. Well, I got to say, I'm impressed with his ability to hear me from here and take my strategy. And now Jason Xavier with the shoulder tackle. He hit the hook the far leg here. Probably if he would have hooked the close leg, maybe he would have got the, the pinfall there. But the cheetah definitely wearing out Boyce Legrand with this speedy pace of his. The frantic action reminding me of uh, great competitors like Shawn Michaels. But that'll change the pace real quick. I think he caught that ring rope right across the throat. It's just Boyce's uh, knowledge of all the different ways to get out of a certain hole. The stun gun right there. And Jason and Xavier up on the ropes. And I was just trying to wear him out in the corner. They're definitely illegal close fist. Referee Robert Taylor officiating this match. Big chop from the bad boy, Boyce Legrand, and a lot of folks say he has got one of the most vicious chops in Northern California. Swing and a miss. Jason Xavier's returning the favor here. Doubled up on the chops. I didn't quite see that. It looked like the boys poked him in the eye right there. Could have been incidental contact. Might have been going through the face, but he got all of that DDT. <laughs> Only a two count off that DDT, but the damage might be done. Drove that cranium straight into the mat. Now, again, using the ring to his advantage. disqualify you if you uh, choked, them, choked your opponent right in front of him twice in a row. Referee Robert Taylor giving a lot of leeway in this match. Two European 
and uppercuts. That's the runner. Oh. You see how much he threw him into that buckle so hard right there. Yeah, and those buckles, just an iron bolt covered by thin leather padding, and out you go. Talked about how smart Melissa Grand is. Throws him outside the ring. You don't train for a match outside the ring, so. Now it's when it gets down and dirty. Ooh! Stiff chop. Boy's wiping the dirt off on the plebs. I get him here. Sky high. Just difficult to put any weight onto the shoulders there. Try to put as much weight on the chest as you could, but definitely not going to hold down a shoulder. I tell you, these two are giving us one hell of our fight for this opening contest. Jason Xavier's trying to pull himself up here. Definitely, he might have rocked himself on that move as well. Now, Boyce LeGrand taking advantage, driving that shoulder in so he can get Xavier positioned for something with ill intention. Boyce LeGrand, super old school. I know he's a big fan of uh, Bob Orton Sr. Thought maybe he was going for a super play. Oh, oh no! This thing Xavier slipped out. Hit him with a desperation power bomb. And we're at square one. Both men flat on the canvas. Referee Robert Taylor got a two count going on. Both of these men got to try and get to their feet and answer that 10 count, or that's it for this match. You definitely don't want to put in all this work and then just uh, go to a double count. Sure. There we are, Jason Xavier back on his feet, Boyce LeGrand as well. It's up, fired up the cheetah. Line four. Shades of T Tito Santana there. I don't know who Tito Santana is, but I heard of this guy Chico Santana back in the 80s. Former Inter California Intercontinental Champion. Arn Anderson has spine buster there. Didn't take advantage. Don't know why when his shoulders are down, you don't go for a cover. Oh, he wants to show off. That, that time on American Ninja Warrior might have given him a taste of the showmanship here. Elbow drop. Oh, kicked out the last second right there. I thought he had him there, driving that elbow right to the heart of Boyce LeGrand off the top rope. Had to be two and seven eights right there. Very, very close. Well, I was never good at fractions. That's why I got accountants for me. Inside cradle. Jason Xavier fights out of it. Trying to schoolboy. Returns the favor. So they're going back and forth. Seguri. Out of nowhere, and uh, he's calling for something again. Obviously, in Seguri, not quite as good as Bad News Brown. He would have put him out with that for sure. Oh. Caught him, took too long to 
get up to that top rope, and now Boyce gonna take advantage. Boyce dragging him up to that, that top turnbuckle. This is what I was talking about earlier. I knew he was a big fan of Bob Orton. Going for that superplex. Definitely gonna put him away here if he hits it clean. Oh, got it! Oh, it probably took a little bit out of Boyce as well here. Boyce negotiating him for that pin, but... Wasn't able to hook the leg very deeply, though. Yeah, yeah, barely was able to just roll over to get that pinfall. Couldn't get all of his weight on Jason Xavier's shoulders. I tell you, these guys are digging deep. Oh, this, I've seen this before. The LeGrand finale! Oh! Well scouted. That was one hell of a three count! Boyce is saying it's a fast count, and I might agree with him. I'm not sure what the regulations are on the, how fast the count needs to be. But Jason Xavier here with his first win in a long time in PCW. So is, is Jason Xavier the new Dynamite Division champion? I, I didn't hear, was that? No, a... that, was, that was not for, that was not for the belt. He did not have the title up for grabs. But uh, that was a win, and a very prestigious win over the bad boy, Boyce LeGrand. I think he's telling that fan that it was a fast cut. I don't really know if it was. It looked regulation to me. Well, folks, you, you can check it out. Let us know in the comments if you thought it was a fast count or a slow count. Boyce LeGrand grabbing his title. That was a fast count! We were just talking about it. I'm with you there. I'm with you there. Tell us in the comments, folks, if you thought it was a fast count. I thought it was. But right now, folks, we have the Living the Dream contest. One lucky fan going to get to win a year's training at Primetime University. So we are going to take a break, let you see one of the contestants and then we'll be back with more action from PCW Blueprint here on PCW Live Live. Remember to hit that like button, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when we're airing our episodes. Looking at Rough House Ray Ray, Trailer Park Royalty, baby. Belly, ready to take flight. Living the dream, that's what you crave. Sweat determination, that's the price you pay. Living the dream, a shot to drop the brass ring. Step inside this grand circle, where champions take wing. Train hard, fight strong, let your passion ignite. This is your moment, claim your birthright. House Ray Ray, Trailer Park Royalty, baby. The king of the double wide. From the biggest trailer park in North America, Sun Valley, Nevada, USA. Coming to you for PCW Living the Dream, not to worry. I'm the stepdad you wish you had. Even if I don't win Living the Dream, the single mamas are lining up around the block to get a piece of your new uncle. Rough House Ray Ray, the stepdad you wish you had. That's all I got. <laughs> RC and Dawn get their debut album, Slept On, featuring the hits Funk With Us and O2 Thick. Check them out on iTunes and Spotify. RC and Dawn. J E the Wheel Man. I'm, I'm, I'm the producer, okay? Oh, who am I? Hey, you ain't no. Yeah. Don't trip, man. It's probably
Cause you're so hot I'm the post yeah. I'm a real tip hey. Let me educate you real quick I'm the I'm him I'm him I'm him I'm him I'm him I'm him On the field preaching, I dust him diamond. How I keep the wheel screeching. Oh, oh, him carry is scary, but I get the mask on. I turn into him. He hope you wake up with all your cash gone. There's boys coming back out. I'm not sure what's going on here. He seems to be irate with one of these fans. Exclusive voice the grand after his match, taking the issues with old people and children alike. The man does not discriminate. Uh, that's what we call a real man right there. He's threatening to slap a senior citizen and a youngster as well. He's 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 really he, like I said, put him in their place. These kids, they got no respect. These old people sucking up my tax dollars with their Medicare and Social Security. All right, folks, we'll be back. We'll show you another Living the Dream contestant. Don't let fear hold you back. Unleash the beast inside. Show the world your power. Take them on a ride. Living the dream. A shot to grab the blast ring. Step inside the square circle. Where champions take wing. Train hard. Fight strong. Let your passion ignite. This is your moment. Claim your birthright. Don't let fear hold you back. Unleash the beast inside. Show the world your power. Take him on a ride Living the dream A shot to grab the brass ring Step inside the square circle Where champions take wing Train hard, fight strong Let your passion ignite This is your moment Claim your birthright Hey Raza Mi nombre es El Último Jaguar Directamente de la Tierra Azteca Para venir a PCW Por una oportunidad Para ver ese campeonato aquí sea con quien sea, con quien me pongan jaguar y raza de bronce hay muchísima y para rato Folks, Doc Haywood back with Big Paul Isidore and we got more action in store for you here How dare you Buck James Buck James demoted for just that reason, too big for his britches.
wall, and he's he slimmed down to 450 pounds, and, and that's that's scary because that means he is he is quicker, faster. Spectacle indeed. Allow me to use myself. This is Anthony Marcus. Show some respect. Last time I was in this hole, I told you all that it was a time.
Oh, he's going to make him kiss his Jordans. Oh, no! Oh, my God! What is... Oh. He's fighting back. Oh! Oh, oh my God! He gave him a spinning neck breaker. Anthony Marcus flat on the mat, and... and Bad News Blakesley took that low... Oh! And now I have a feeling Bad News is going to make Phil pay for that in spades. That short arm clothesline's got to be like getting hit with a Mack truck. for the microphone. It's like prime time. He's got something to say. Oh, and he's got the man's head now. <laughs> Anthony Marcus does not like it when you touch his hat. You got no business out here. Everything that you know, I didn't 
plan. So you wanted a match? So I gave you a match. Ladies and gentlemen, the BCW Tag Team Champion. Smarter, not harder. Got the dudes out here to do his dirty work and get his hat back. As he was saying, he, he's 51 years old. These people don't want to see him in a match. He's retired. I mean, goodness, I'm 47 years old. These people don't want to see me in a match. I would definitely pay money to see the dudes. Champion! Ladies and gentlemen! Look, the odds are a little even, or more even. I don't know where I came up with that word. I'll tell you what. You guys got paid some money? You think you're gonna come? Hey! How about this? When you want this hat, all you gotta do is take this hat. But to get this hat, you put them tag team championships. Conversation seems this is a good idea. Well, that's not a decision to be made likely. Oh, uh, these guys are not scared. The dudes have been fighting champions. I don't understand what these these Orville food stamp plebeians are. Oh, come on. Now I gotta bleep that. Come on, prime time. You know better. These fans are letting their opinion be known, for sure. Well, opinions are like buttholes. Everyone's got one. And you can certainly smell it in here. Oh, I heard that. Sounds like they're putting the tag team titles on the line here. Arsonist said, you want it, you got it. Arsonist and Big Don Stockton going to do the honors for the dudes. Of course, the dudes use the Freebirds rule with their tag team championship. There it is, it's official!
talk James about his professionalism. He's going to get demoted down even further. Seems like he's just being really enthusiastic. Well, he doesn't need to be talking to the talent like that. The adult dude's more than earned respect in this company, especially from the lights of Buck. Zach Primetime Reap in first. His, his protege, Richard Dakin, in his corner. And uh, there's been a little bit of a t tension between them ever since uh, Dickey won the prospect's title under the tutelage of Anthony Marcus. Folks have been wondering what side of the fence he's going to be on, but right now we got arsonist in prime time. Arsonist definitely showing that he's been putting in that work in the gym. He just pushed primetime into the corner. Looks like he didn't enjoy that chop to the chest. So he tried to take a shortcut first, throwing a punch, and then he paid for it by catching a chop in the corner. Here they go, locking up again like two bulls. Now primetime seems to have the upper hand. I'm sure there's going to be a clean break here. Oh, maybe not. No! An arsonist pays it back with a chop of his own. A deft maneuver by the arsonist. Showing some quickness there. Now he's got that locked in deep. Primetime is trying to release some of that pressure. A couple of short elbows to the ribs. Oh my goodness! Primetime just used the recoil of the ropes against him. Absorbed the tackle and gave one of his own. That is the 25 year experience of Zach Primetime Reeb. Of course, you know better than most, PCW in its 25th year here. It and there's like the. Zach Reeb is inviting the other uh, the tag team partner in here. Yeah, inviting in big Don Stockton. I don't know if it's a good idea. Uh, at a, quite a disadvantage based off of size here. I think that Zach is probably regretting that decision right now now that he's uh, getting his head squeezed in the side headlock. back-to-back -back tackles there. He wasn't able to absorb it like he did before. No, and Arsonist got that impressive body mass. And he's as mean as they come. Oh. Oh, hard time's just uh, asking the fans if they want him to take, uh, tag in his protege here. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't take strategy from people who can't hold down a nine to five job. And the prospects champion in the Red Bull, Dickie Dakin. And I am being told we have got to go to break. We'll be back right after this. PCW is 
coming to your area. September 21st, it's PCW at the Port, the Stockton Pickle Fest. September 28th, PCW Slam In at the Salmon Festival at the Orville Salmon Festival. October 5th, it's PCW Off the Chain at the Orville Convention Center. December 14th, PCW Christmas Clash at the Yuba Sutter Christmas Stroll. January 11th, PCW Kickstart at the Red Bluff Community Center. Visit PCWNorCal.com to find out when PCW is coming to your area. And we're back. Big Don Stockton been in control since the break. He's trying to battle out of the vertical suplex. Can he do it? Oh, no! Got him up and over! It's like Dickie doesn't know where he's at. He's real close to his tag team partner right there, but he's just not aware, I guess, to make the tag. I can't imagine there were too many people who were able to suplex you back in your days in the ring. Speaking of damn near impossible, how did Dickie just get that power slam on Don Stockton? Just enough to, per to turn the momentum, so prime time you can get in here and, uh, and go to work a little bit. And what a shift in momentum it was. Oh! Oh my goodness. In the belly suplex. Didn't hook the leg. No, nope, no, nope, did not hook the leg, but he definitely drove all the oxygen out of Primetime's body, not once, but twice. Primetime has got to be sucking for air right now. Oh, I thought he was going to whip him into his own corner. Smart move to be on, uh, on his half of the ring. Well, that's how the dudes have held on to this championship. Chico Lopez. Preventing Dicky Dakin from assisting prime time while the dudes. Referee should be getting them out of there. That's a, I feel like that was longer than the five second count that they're allowed to have. Chico Lopez definitely going to have his work cut out for him. And oh, look at this. Look at this hanging vertical suplex. All the blood rushed to his head. Definitely a good strategy, trying to keep them on their half of the ring. And, and how impressive by the arsonist to get Zach Primetime Reeve up like that. Oh, he's almost in the corner. Our arsonist. To reach out and get this tag here. And he's torturing Dickie Dakin by keeping Primetime just out of reach. This is not just physical punishment, but psychological punishment as well. It's almost out of desperation right there. One hundred percent. Zach Primetime Reed digging deep, but can he capitalize on it? Can he can he get there to make the tag? He, I don't think he can get the pin. And he's rolling the wrong way. He definitely doesn't know where he's at. He needs to go the opposite direction.
Was that intentional? Maybe Zach Reed wanted to show Dakin what he thinks of him teaming up with Anthony Marcus. 3D. Doodly death drop right there. Just 25 years of experience rolling out of the ring right there. And there's a third degree from the arsonist. victory for the dudes nonetheless and, and even more what does this say for the already strained relationship between uh, Dickie Dakin and Zach Primetime Reeb victorious champions look at them right there holding up those beautiful silver belts statement by the dudes and arsonist uh, we're gonna go to another living the dream profile we'll be back with more from uh, primetime and dicky stay tuned folks don't let fear hold you back unleash the beast inside show the world your power take them on a ride living the dream a shot to grab the brass ring step inside the square circle where champions take wing train hard fight strong let your passion ignite Alright, listen up, I got something I want to say. My name is Aiden Houtley, I'm going to tell you why I'm here at PCW. It's because I'm the most competitive MFR in all of the United States of America. Alright, I am not here as a hobby. I'm not here to do this for fun. I'm here because whenever I do something, I do it the best. Alright, I'm not number two, I'm always number one. Every single sport I play, every single position, every single school I go to, I'm number one. And that's why I'm here today. I'm not going to be, not going to be second on the podium. I'm not going to be in the picture, in the background. I'm going to be number one, your winner. And that's a guarantee. Zach Primetime Reeb and Richard Dakin still still here in the ring. Buck James running running to give Dickie Dakin a mic. I know you respected me 
as a person. But between these ropes, uh -uh. So how about this? October 5th, off the chain. I challenge you, Mr. Primetime, to a match. respect I deserve. Dickie aired some, aired some laundry here. Could have swore that he said I knew it. you didn't do that on purpose. But he just wants to earn some of, the, of Zach Reed's respect here with a match. One on one. Hey Richard. Hey Richard. All your friends can call you that, right? You're right. You're 100% right, man. I got a lot of love. I got a lot of love for you, kid. I got a lot of love for you, and I got a lot of love for your family. I respect everything that you've done in your personal life, everything you've overcome, being a young father. I respect all that. But while your career's just getting started, my career is just starting to come to an end. And you're right about one thing. In between these ropes, in the center of this professional wrestling ring, you have not earned my respect yet. Oh! He's a prospects champion! What the hell? So next month, October 5th, you want to earn that respect? You want to move up this ladder? You got it. Mr. Primetime, I see you October 5th off the chain. And it's about time and I get your respect. I have respect in the locker room very well. It's about time. It's like Zach Reeb is, uh, is agreeing he does have respect in the locker room, but maybe he just needs to earn that respect in the middle of that room. easy take it twice oh my goodness you don't want to know what happens if you don't like subscribe and share right now nerd